So here's the Victor Bailey base then. So this is the case it comes with. So that's the Fender logo. It's all in good condition. Inside and out. I'll just quickly go around it. Oh yeah, that's my Victor Bailey. In fact, I'll take that off now. I will take that off. There we go. Got a little nick on it there. So you've got the absolute music stamp on it still. I won't flip it over because I've got the um, the back plates off on the, the base to show you the wiring. So here we go then. Here it is in the flash. So I'll take you through this on the next video. There's a Victor sign. See, so I've taken the back two back plates off here to show you the electronics and the battery cover. I'll show you the the um, action on it in a, in a few minutes. So they're the lacking the strap locks, locking strap locks here to match the colour of the hardware. So not black or silver. So flip it over. Here it is. Made in the USA. The number 10833 as on the card and the absolute music logbook. Back of the neck. There's no marks on it at all. What you can see is probably light or the grain. Do you think it's a mark? There's no dents on there at all. So, good old Tesco's with the battery compartment there. Two batteries, so it's 18 volts, two 9 volt batteries, and the wiring of the era of the time, how Fender finished it off. And you can see on the pots there, the original, try and get my fingers out of the way, original soldering in there. There we are. Okay, it's not been fiddled with. Not been modified, customized, or anything. All as it left the factory. For those of you you who know about the wiring, this is how Fender finishes them off there at that period. These white bits on. There's the circuit board. Earthing. See the pots, one there, another one there, another one there, and the fourth one behind the circuit board. Okay, back to the battery again, there's the two batteries again. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes.